Hi everybody, this is Dama Masal with her famous Sunday morning crepes and Yorkshire pudding recipe. So we're going to take one egg, a cup of milk, a cup of flour, and about a tablespoon of oil, and we're going to blend it all together really well. Take your frying pan and put in about a teaspoon of butter. It should be enough to do all your crepes, so uh, just don't need to put in more than that. I'm going to pour in just enough of the mixture to cover the bottom of the pan. Keep it that thin mixture. You don't want it to be too thick. It spoils the taste of the crepe. So then you cover your pan with a lid, and then you'll notice that the edges of the crepe start to brown, and when that happens, you know that the bottom is cooked. Turn it over. So we cover it up again, and then we do the fun part. We get ourselves some sugar, some lemon, either juice or fresh, and you're going to need a plate and a fork. Put some lemon juice down the center of the crepe, put sugar all across, and then just roll it up with the fork, as you see in the picture here. Mm. Then you just eat it. And by the way, notice I have my latte with caramel sauce on top, just to make sure that it's a perfect meal. By the way, I very rarely get to sit down when I eat this. Um, I just make them and eat them while I'm standing up because there's nothing better than when they're hot. Last, for those of you who always wanted to make Yorkshire pudding and didn't know how to make it well, exactly the same recipe. What, you, what I do is I use small muffin pans. I spray them with oil and then make sure that the oven is good and hot, at least 400. Once you have the Yorkshire puddings in the muffin pans and in the oven, do not open your oven again until they are good and brown, probably about 30 minutes. If you open it up before then, they will drop, and it will be such a shame because they look so great when they're all nice and fluffy. By the way, contrary to what my mother told me and everybody else told me, yes, Yorkshire puddings can be frozen, and they're great. So I always hope that I will have some left over. I rarely do. Uh, but when I do, I freeze them. And then with any leftover beef that I might have that I've sliced up, when I'm having those leftovers, I pull out the Yorkshire puddings and I warm them up in my toaster oven. And they are just great. Hope this helps. So before we go, First of all, if you've enjoyed the video, please like it. It's a little clicky thing right up top, the thumbs up sign. And subscribe so we can let you know when we put up more videos. Um, we cover th things like life, love, relationships and other problems. And we normally put up one or two a week. To hear more about me personally and my life, follow me on my blog. And the link is below. And check out our other videos. And know that I really do genuinely welcome your comments and questions. We'll be chatting again soon. Thank you for watching. This is Dear Mama Sal. Bye-bye for now.